University of Hawaii at Manoa is located in a lush paradise, but Professor Peter Gorham's work takes him to the frozen expanse of a faraway continent searching for the elusive neutrino, a tiny particle capable of traveling at light speed with ANITA. ANITA stands for the Antarctic Impulsive Transient Antenna. It flies over the Antarctic continent as a, as a stratospheric balloon payload and looks for the signatures of high energy neutrinos that crash into some atom in the ice. Neutrinos are fundamental particles of the universe born in the incredible energy of the Big Bang. They can tell us about everything from the birth of the universe to the nuclear reactions that power our cities, and Antarctica is a perfect place to study them. Antarctica has several properties that make it really ideal for what we want to do. Ice has a, an amazing property in Antarctica of being almost completely clear to radio waves. If you flew over Antarctica with, with the radio eyes, you could see right through the ice, uh, several miles deep into it, and see the subcontinent below. This is uh, one of our laboratories that we use for testing uh, antennas. This is one of the antennas that we use. It's the fundamental building block of, of ANITA. To test the equipment before we send it to Antarctica, we need a, a completely isolated box. This is what we call a Faraday box. It's a, a copper enclosure. And what we've done is we've added this uh, absorbing foam, which you can see in the background, these fingers, to completely uh, make it what's called anechoic, so there are no radio echoes in here. The ANITA project continues to attract some of the best minds, as well as research dollars, to the University of Hawaii to do cutting-edge research at the vanguard of science. The University of Hawaii has been incredibly supportive of this effort. The chance to put laboratories like this together and to, to, to allow them to be operated, it gives students a tremendous opportunities. We're actually the lead institution for ANITA. We've uh, developed a great relationship with NASA, brought in uh, something like 10 or 12 million dollars. We're participating in something which I think is one of the best efforts of, of humanity.